So you've seen lots of markets, Laura, is what I'm hearing you say. I have, I have seen lots of markets. I've been through um, the crash, which this is nothing like that whatsoever. This is a totally different market with opportunities just like any market. Um, and I think that, you know, I, I know we want to talk about rates and we want to talk about what is the market doing? What are we seeing? But I can tell you in every market, because every market's different, that I have been in, there are opportunities for, for buyers, for realtors, for loan officers, there are opportunities everywhere. Good afternoon. It is Anna Kalinsky with Anna K Real Estate and Sound Team. And we're so excited to be here with the Truth and Lending Team and Highland Mortgage. I've got Laura and Mark Witte. So Really quickly, tell me about Highland Mortgage. Kind of tell me a little bit of the history of you in the mortgage business. And then I know everybody just wants to talk about what's going on. I know what, what they're saying in the market. Yes. yes. So Highland Mortgage, um, actually, this is our three-year anniversary this month. Uh, we've been in business for three years. I have been doing this for 25 years, long time this month, actually. Um, and um, we are 100% employee-owned. Um the, the team, like the core team of us, about 30 or 40 of us have been working together for almost our entire careers, um, which says a lot because this company, people move, you know, and so we've stayed, right. we've stayed together and we plan on this being our last stop. Mark and I are um, two of the founders of Highland Mortgage. So you've seen yeah. lots of markets, Laura, is what I'm hearing you say. I have, I have seen lots of markets. I've been through um, the crash, which this is, Nothing like that whatsoever. This is a totally different market with opportunities just like any market. Um, and I think that, you know, I, I know we want to talk about rates and we want to talk about what is the market doing? What are we seeing? But I can tell you in every market, because every market's different, that I have been in, there are opportunities for, for buyers, for realtors, for loan officers. There are opportunities everywhere. And that is the truth with this one, especially during COVID, there was a feeding front. The rates were so low that people were bidding on houses like crazy. Um, appreciation went up higher than I've ever seen it. Like, yeah. And so we have, you know, a, a more of a normalized market now to where buyers can get deals. I'm seeing deals. I'm seeing, first of all, uh, appraisals are coming in. We've not had any low appraisals. In fact, I've seen appraisals coming in over the asking price, over the sales price. So what does that mean? That means that sellers are more flexible. Sellers are more motivated. And it's a great time for buyers to buy a house and, and get some good deals. So Laura, like you said, um, deal people are having deals, right? So yes. with your 25 years of perspective and Mark, having bought and refinanced and bought and refinanced. And obviously everybody took advantage or many people took advantage of lower rates during COVID. And I, 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 I like the idea that we borrowed appreciation for the future, from the future, right? So the Correct. idea that, yeah, is it still a phenomenal market to be a seller? Absolutely. Because we are ahead right. of the curve on the pricing trend line. So if even... Yeah. We need to make some adjustments downwards. We're still outpacing where we would have yes. been on the average rate of appreciation year over year. Absolutely true. When we were talking to clients a couple of years ago, okay, you know, bid bid fifty thousand, bid a hundred thousand over, depending on you know the size of the home. We were talking about future appreciation and how it would be there, right? We, we can't guarantee, but how we thought as professionals that it would be there. I've seen this more than a few times. Um, had clients buy, um, buy indicator, a townhome indicator. Um, I think they paid seven ninety. They just sold it for nine ten. Uh, not even two years later. What? That, not that not even two years later. Investment ROI. Like I think we got kind of spoiled. Mm -hmm. We got spoiled. You bought a house two years later. You had two three hundred thousand dollars worth of equity. That's not normal. That's not right. normal. But kudos. Yeah. If you could start over. What would you do differently? I would buy more real estate. Mm. We're talking about real estate. I would buy more real estate because hands even today, down, would even you buy today, it today? Through time, that it it shows what you can do to create wealth, generational wealth. It propels you into um, a life and a lifestyle for yourself and your family that you couldn't get just by working your normal nine to five job. No, yeah, I think people um, also sometimes forget that there is reason why they're moving. You know, there's a reason they have three kids in one bedroom.
or yeah. they have five kids like us. <laughs> and we had yeah. two bathrooms, I think, when we started out. Um, and there is a reason. Sometimes the reason is affordability. And I know that sounds crazy in this market. Why would somebody move to afford more? Because the rates are up. Logically, that makes no sense. But it, it actually does. For a lot of clients, sometimes you need um, us as professionals to help guide you in the right path and decisions in your life. My initiative for a affordability for clients. It is not just about rates because rates are just a single part of the process. It's right. also about, you know, what kind of debt do you have? What is your lifestyle, your home? You know, how comfortable are you in your home? And so one of the things we found is as interest rates go up 1% or down 1%, about four to 5 million people either re-enter the market as they now qualify or don't enter, you know, leave the market because they no longer qualify. When rates were down in 2021 at their lowest point, since then, we've seen 56% of the potential home buyers just exit the market. They can no longer afford it. What we're doing is, is trying to find ways that they do qualify um, through a couple of our loan programs, through, um, you know, we need to create some inventory. I think that's a part of it. There's things we can control in the industry. We can't control interest rates. I mean, that's dictated yeah. by, you know, de demand. We can't control mortgage-backed securities. You know, we can't control the Fed rate. But what we can control is helping people, you know, one, getting the word out that, you know, you never know until you apply or until you start the conversation. And two, um, you know, what, what exactly can you afford? I mean, I think the thoughts of needing the 20% down, there's still a huge part of the market that that's what they truly believe. So I think education on our parts is, is critical as far as buying now. I mean, I think right now we're in a position where the buyers do have leverage. They do have, Absolutely. there's less people in the market. Yeah. So those that can't afford um, now's the time for them to step in. Um, rates will come down. I don't, none of us know when or how much, um, there's all sorts of forecasts out there, but I mean, we do know historically rates will come down. That swing of one percentage point, right? So let's say we're going from eight to seven, or from seven to six, right? The amount of people that re-enter the market when that advantageous mm -hmm. change happens to interest rates yeah. automatically yeah. negates what you think you're saving by having a lower interest rate because you're oh, driving yeah. up demand and demand drives up prices and then you become in this competitive situation. And so I, I just, you know, be greedy when people are fearful and be oh. fearful when people are greedy. And right now everybody's just kind of on the back burner when people wait for the favorable conditions for the rate of borrowing somebody else's money, they miss out on the biggest opportunities of all time. Right. Uh, well, Mark, I want to hear about your dream program. Whoa. This, okay. This is like yeah. his baby. <laughs> All right. Let's hear about it. So this is uh, an investor we have as part of the their initiative has a census tract census tract based program that offers up to forty five hundred dollars or two percent of the sales price as a, a true rate buy down that the lender that the lender has. The other thing it does is it, it helps waive some of the loan level pricing adjustments. In some cases, if they have less than the 80% um, area median, in, median income, um, it completely waives the, the loan level pricing adjustments. So as, as you, you know, I'm sure you know, but you know, for your audience, the loan level pricing adjustments are the risk-based factors that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac set to take hits to the, to the, uh, to the rate, um, you know, as, based on the scenario. The riskier it is, of course, the higher the interest rate. And in some cases, we've seen that people can save about a percent. I think the, the biggest one we saw, Laura, was like one and a quarter percent. Yeah. We this program experience. will get people below market interest rates without the seller having to pay for a buy down. As long as the property qualifies, they expanded the area. So it's, it's not all the zip codes, but 30316, 30310, 300332. There's a lot of zip codes we all do business in. Yep. You would be surprised which homes qualify. The West End, most of the West End qualifies. I was able to lock somebody in at like 6.99 uh, 
um, a, a week or two ago, 6.8, 6.9, which is And are there incredible. any refinance penalties with that? Like if you lock it at a lower rate, what happens? There, there's not. And we also can offer that program on refinances in that same mm. census tract. Something else that, you know, I think that we've been trying to push is that if, um, if someone purchases a home now for any, any point in the next two years, when rates come back down, we will refinance them with no lender fees. That was worth the whole call. Did y'all hear that? Right there. All that. <laughs> if rates come down, they will refinance you with no lender fees in the next few years. Yeah. But I just want to say part of the whole thing with, with us being called like the truth and lending team and years ago when you knew me and truth and lending first like grew and, and started is that I am a big uh, proponent and supporter and advocate of the truth. So this whole no lender fee, like it's real. Like we are offering no lender fees, no points on our refinances. When you see a lot of these lenders out there, I'm not naming any names, but they have free refinance. Nothing's free. We all know that on this call. And as adults, we know that nothing is free. Um, as far as when you refinance, there's going to be some fees. So, so we're offering what we can control. You know, attorneys aren't going to close you for free. There but you're the principal. You get to make right. those choices. Exactly. Those so we get to offer our our fees waived and not rolling it back into the loan. Well, I mean, you stole the thunder from my last question is what sets you guys apart? I mean, that is such a great product. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how does everybody find you guys? Well, they can go to um, Truth and Lending is our um, IG Facebook um, and truthandlending.com is our uh, website and it's uh, A-N-D, T-R-U-H-A-N-D on our team. Well, we're well. we're so grateful for the partnership. You've taken such great care of our people and our agents. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, thank you for having thank us. You.